Hi everyone, welcome to CHM 201 Physical Chemistry Workshop Lecture 1, which is on calculation of molecular speeds. I'm Dr. Andrew Tehemi Kiowa, and I lecture physical chemistry in the Department of Chemistry, Benue State University. This lecture is meant for my second year physical chemistry students, as well as other students globally who are interested in learning about how to calculate molecular speeds. If you've got any questions or any comments, you can send them to me via my university email address or my Google email address. After the lecture, I expect you to be able to calculate the most probable speed the mean speed, the root mean square speed, the relative speed. The question says, for oxygen molecules at 298 Kelvin, calculate the most probable speed, mean speed, root mean square speed, and relative speed. If we make a plot of the probability density of molecular speed against the speed of the molecules, we are going to obtain the bear shaped looking curve where the most probable speed, which represents the speed many of the molecules, at least 50% of them uh, we possess, will lie midway in between the curve. The mean speed will lie just after the uh, most probable speed. The mean speed is the sum of the speed of all the molecules divided by the number of the molecules. The root mean square speed, which actually represents the square root of the sum of the squares of all the speeds of the molecules divided by the number of the molecules will lie just after the mean speed. Therefore, the most probable speed is less than the mean speed and the mean speed is less than the root mean square speed. So these are the mathematical expressions for calculating the various speeds. The most probable speed represented by BP um, has this expression, two times Boltzmann's constant times uh, temperature divided by the mass of uh, the molecule in question or in square root. This can be rewritten in terms of the gas constant as shown here. The same thing applies to the mean speed, which can be written in terms of Boltzmann's constant and in terms of the gas constant. The root mean square speed can be written in terms of the Boltzmann's constant as well as in terms of the gas constant. The relative speed, which represents the speed with which um, the molecules approach each other, is the product of the mean speed times the square root of two. These equations have similar symbols, apart from some differences in physical constants. And, uh, and, and numbers. Now, this has 2, this has 8, this has 3, and this has pi in addition, otherwise they are of similar nature. So what are these constants? Capital letter M represents the molar mass of oxygen in this case, which is 32 gram per mole. Uh, which can be rewritten in terms of kilogram per mole as 32 times 10 to the power of negative 3 kilogram per mole. Small letter m is the mass of oxygen molecule, which can be obtained by dividing the molar mass of the oxygen molecule by the Avogadro's number. And when we do that, we have 32 times 10 to the power of negative 3 kg per mole divided by 6.022 times 10 to the power of 23 per mole, which gives 5.31 times 10 to the power of negative 26 kilogram. 
Kb, the box mass constant is 1.381 uh, uh, times 10 to the power of negative 23 joule per Kelvin. Uh, the constant pi is 3.142. The gas constant um, is 8.314 joule per mole per Kelvin. The temperature as given in the question is 3, um, um, so, sorry, 298 Kelvin. Now, any of these expressions, either the one with um, the post mass constant or the one with the gas constant can be used to find these speeds, the values for these speeds. Uh, they will give the same answers or values. So I'm going to use the one that has the gas constant. So for the most probable speed, this is the expression. So if we substitute values for the gas constant, the temperature and the molar mass, then we are going to obtain this expression where two is uh, what we have there. This is the gas constant and this is the temperature. The joule is the product of kg meter squared per second squared. So this will cancel that per Kelvin cancel Kelvin there, we are going to be left with meter squared per second squared. When we take the square root, we are going to be left with meter per second. So when we evaluate that expression, we have uh, 393.507 meters per second, which can be approximated to 3.94 meters per second. Now, why do we approximate to 3.94 meters per second? 2 is written to zero decimal place. 2.98 Kelvin is also written to zero decimal place. So the minimum number of decimal place in that um, expression is zero. So we approximate our answer to the least number of a decimal place. That's what happens in physical chemistry. Um, if you don't know, know that today that when you, you, you make, when you solve things, you express the final answer to the value of the least uh, decimal place quantity in the expression. The mean speed can be obtained using this expression. If we substitute the value of R, T, pi, and capital letter M, we obtain this, which we evaluate to obtain 443.997 meters per second which again can be approximated to zero decimal place as 444 meters per second as this um, mean speed. The root mean square speed can be calculated using this expression. We substitute the values for R, T, and M. That gives this which can be evaluated to 481.946 meters per second, which can be approximated to 482 meters per second. And then D, the relative speed, is the product of the uh, mean speed times the square root of two. We simply substitute the value of the mean speed and multiply by the square root of 2. That gives 443.99 um, 7 meters per second times the square root of 2, which evaluates to 
six to seven point nine not seven meters per second, which can be approximated to six to three meters per second. So thank you for watching. Links to the PDF version of this lecture is in the video description as well as the study questions. Again, if you have any questions, you can send them to me through my university email or my Google email address. If you enjoy this video, you can subscribe so that you will get notified when subsequent videos come up. Bye.